So here I am on my Databricks UI and I set up the storage credentials and external locations. I will navigate to the external data tab and I will navigate over to the credentials page. This is where we will set up our storage credentials. I will click on create credential. I'll register the AWS IAM role. If I navigate over to my AWS console, you will see that I have this Databricks demo ingestion IAM role set up. Within the trust relationships of this role, you will see that I have this JSON definition. And a key thing to note is that we need to make this IAM role self-assuming. So I've added in the same ARN for this IAM role. And on line 15 for the external ID, I've got it in the storage credential external ID. Now, if I go back to my permissions tab, I will see that I have a Databricks demo ingestion IAM policy attached to this role. We have our JSON policy for this IAM policy, and you'll, you'll see that underneath the resources section, I've specified two resources, the name of the S3 bucket that I want this policy to read and write from. So the name of that S3 bucket is Databricks demo ingestion, and this slash star means that I want all the objects within this S3 bucket to be read and, read and written from. And I'm also given permissions on the actual bucket itself. Back to the IAM role, I will grab this ARN so that I can supply it to the Databricks UI. I will go ahead and give this credential a name, and I will paste in that IAM role ARN that I copied. Click the Create button. This is the external ID. If you haven't already updated your trust policy, you can go ahead and replace that with this ID over here. But I've already done so, so I'll just click Done. I'll validate the config configuration in the right-hand side over here, and all the tests have passed. I'll go back to my Catalog Explorer, click on the External Data tab, and set up our actual external location. I will give my external location a name. Storage type, this is an S3 bucket. And then for URL, this is going to be the actual path to the S3 bucket. So I will do S3 colon slash slash, and then I will navigate over to my AWS section to get the name of my bucket. So this is the bucket that I have set up on AWS. The name of the bucket is Databricks-Demo Ingestion. And as you can see, there's just one CSV file within this S3 bucket. So I will copy over this name of the bucket, go back over to Databricks, paste in that bucket name. For storage credential from the dropdown, I'll choose the storage credential that we just created. And next we can click Create. So our external location has been set up. What I'll do is test the connection. All the tests have passed, which means we should be good to go. I'll go over to the Browse section. And we should see that we have that same CSV file that we saw on our AWS side. From here, what we can do is create a table from the CSV file. I'll click on the create table. I will choose our CSV file and preview table. I'll leave the catalog as demo workspace US East 1. The schema will be default and I'll change the name of the table to parks. Awesome. We have some sample data from the CSV file. Everything looks good to me. So what I'll do is hit create table. And in a few seconds, our table should be created. Navigating back over to our Unity catalog section underneath our demo workspace catalog. And within the default schema, we see that we have our parks table, which was created from the CSV from our S3 bucket. 